Ostdorf in the Swiss canton of Uri. 36,000 inhabitants, home of Detweiler Holding Inc. Here Detweiler is the largest private employer with a local workforce of 900. 86-year-old Max Detweiler, the son of the company's founder Adolf Detweiler, ran the business together with his late brother Peter for half a century. He has served as an honorary director since 1999. The company's origins go back to a small wire and rubber business called Schweizerischer Draht und Gummiwerke in Altdorf, Uri. It was on the verge of bankruptcy and heavily indebted to the then Uri Savings Bank. Because of this, the canton of Uri found itself in debt to the tune of 5 million francs overnight. My father managed to turn the ailing business around into a company that became the largest employer in the canton of Uri. As a result, the responsibility to the population grew, as did the ties with the canton. Winter 2015 in the Alpine canton of Uri. CEO Paul Helg on the way to his office at Detweiler Holdings headquarters in Altdorf. From here, he has managed the Detweiler Group successfully since 2004. Today, Detweiler holds strong market positions and is looking confidently to the future. Under Helg's leadership, the company has grown, especially internationally. Now 7,500 people, 3,000 more than 10 years ago, work for Detweiler worldwide. Heritage and tradition are very important for the culture of any business. Detweiler is a Swiss company with its origins in the canton of Uri. Nevertheless, we operate globally, that's to say, we are Dutch in Holland, Chinese in China and Mexican in Mexico. But our home is in Switzerland, in the canton of Uri. Historically, Detweiler has been a family-owned company. The culture of a family business still influences all of our decisions today and is also reflected in our values. It seems to me that everyone today talks about growth, 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 growth. Growth as a solution to all problems, and I don't find that particularly wise. A company needs to grow to be able to compete. That's because the customers expect ever higher levels of productivity. A company that wants to keep costs at the same level has to be able to deliver more, be it better quality or higher volume. Otherwise, we would have to start cutting costs, and that can obviously be painful. I believe that we have to get better. We have to make better use of our resources and make all the processes in the company better, better than the competition. That will generate growth. A company's growth is also important for the workforce. Only a growing company can keep offering employees new challenges and opportunities. Our customers also expect us to grow. They themselves grow too, move to new continents and expect us to follow them. Sometimes we can only do so through acquisitions. And in recent years, we have shown that we can indeed do this successfully. When speaking of innovation, people tend to think of the products alone. But innovation encompasses all facets of a company, not just product design and development. Innovation is also needed in developing production processes or administrative procedures. We have to get better through and through. Innovation is often associated with high-tech, but Detweiler operates in more mature industries. For that reason, innovation in our business often lies in small details, but details that can give the customer a significant advantage. To identify such advantages, we need to be very close to our customers. This is the job of our sales force, which consequently plays a very important role in innovation. That's why I like to say that, in our company, innovation flows from the outside in and not from the inside out.
wenn sie Eigentümer When you own a company and have ultimate responsibility, in a canton of Uri, numbering a population of less than 40,000, of which you employ more than 1,000, and then you have to let people go, that's when you realize what responsibility is. In my view, a responsibility has a lot to do with entrepreneurship. And entrepreneurship is an important part of Dadweiler's values. As I see it, every employee bears responsibility for Dadweiler. We would like to foster such an entrepreneurial spirit as widely as possible. At the same time, I find it important for each employee also to take responsibility for himself and for his personal development. Success follows success. A successful company is more likely to attract good employees than one that stands still. Success breeds success and that makes it vitally important for the development of a company. For the next 100 years, I wish Dadweiler and the entire workforce every success. I am confident that we will certainly achieve this. We are excellently positioned with our business, and we have very many employees who think entrepreneurially, contribute entrepreneurially, and assume responsibility in the best interests of the company and our company's future. Thank you.